Alright, welcome back guys, JC here, continuing with the Eternity Evolution playlist. I made a video yesterday showing you how to connect this IA6C receiver to your flight controller, wire it in, and set everything up in Betaflight. But there's two really important things that I skipped out on. I'm sure some guys figured out, uh, you know, how to do it. It is pretty basic stuff, but instead of making a separate video covering those two extra things, I'm just going to redo this video. So here we go with take two. This receiver is capable of PPM, SBUS, and IBUS. If possible, I recommend using IBUS because SBUS is better than PPM and IBUS is better than SBUS. I know it doesn't say IBUS on the cover, but it's actually on the same pin used for SBUS. Which one do you need? Which one do you want? That's going to depend on a few things. First, let me explain that SBUS and IBUS both require a UART port where PPM does not. On my flight controller I'll be using for this example I have already wired in the ground power and the white uh, wire which will be the signal wire for SBUS or IBUS. This flight controller does not say where the well actually it says SBUS right here and that's where my white wire is going. Just to give you a few different uh, other examples that way I don't have to make a video for every different flight controller. Uh, here we have a X Racer F303 and the S bus pin is located right here. So you would have ground, power, and S bus. If you want PPM, then it's going to be ground, power, and then PPM on channel number one. It doesn't say PPM, but that's where it's at on this flight controller. The point that I'm trying to make here is you may have to find in the manual where the PPM pin is located. On the SP Racing Mini, if you look on the back side, it is labeled. We have ground 5 volts and then R1 and then T1. Uh, this means that this is UART number 1, receive and transmit. On these UART ports, you specifically need a receive pin for your receiver uh, signal wire. If you're using SBUS or IBUS. If you're using PPM, then you have a PPM pin right here. On the Seriously Dodo, uh, like I said, I'm just giving you a few different layouts. Uh, just to give you a better idea, but you have a ground pin, then 5 volts, then PPM on channel number 1, so you would use that if you do want PPM, or if you want SBUS or IBUS, you will see where it says U3RX on channel number 3, so you would use channel 3 instead. On the uh, SP Racing Evo, ground, 5 volts, then PPM or receive for UART number 2, both are on the same pin, so that's just one more layout. And that's pretty much all the different layouts. So regardless, find your uh, receive on a UART port or PPM pin. Now, uh, what's the differences between them? Like I said, if possible, you want IBUS or SBUS, specifically IBUS, and these require UART ports. Maybe you're trying to connect a bunch of different devices, so you have uh, I want to say like an on-screen display, a GPS module, and something else. And they all require UART ports. So you're out of UART ports. Well, in that case, you can still use PPM. But if you do have any spare UART ports, then use SBUS or IBUS. Okay, now that we've got that out the way, got the ground, power, and signal wire soldered into our flight controller. Or, you know, you can use the pen headers if you want. It doesn't matter. I will be using... Uh, SBUS or IBUS, so I've got my ground, power, and then signal going into the SBUS pin, and because I'm not using PPM, I remove the wire going to PPM. If you want PPM, then you will keep that wire there, but remove the SBUS wire or IBUS wire. As far as where it says BDET, or uh, battery detection, with these two pins here. That is a separate video. Look in the description below. You will find a link to my uh, Turnage Evolution playlist and uh, this is used for getting voltage in your telemetry. So watch that video and I explain it there. The next thing we want to do is go into the Evolution. This is the second thing that I didn't explain yesterday. Click on this icon and we want to scroll to Output Mode. If you chose to use PPM, then you will choose PPM here. Uh, it doesn't matter what this is set to over here if you are using PPM because it's just going to know. 
If you want IBUS, then select IBUS, and if you want SBUS, select SBUS. And whatever you're picking over here, don't worry about what's over here. Like I said, it, it's going to know which one you're using. In this case, I will be using SBUS because that's the next thing I need to explain. Not all flight controllers and firmwares are capable of using IBUS. So although I did say IBUS is better and it still uses the same pin as SBUS, uh, sometimes you just can't use it depending on your flight controller and firmware. Once you have selected uh, whichever one you want, then press this back arrow and click yes and you are now done. Now let's go into beta flight. So some flight controllers, wherever you plug in the USB cable, uh, that will power the flight controller and receiver both. On some flight controllers, it, they don't have this capability, so in that case, you would have to plug in your LiPo battery to provide the receiver with power. If you are getting the solid red light, then that means your receiver has been properly bound and is working. If you don't have the solid red light, then watch my video on how to bind your receiver. Now going into beta flight, now let's go into ports. If you chose to use PPM, then you will not do anything on this page whatsoever. Do not turn Serial RX on. You want to make sure all of these are turned off if you are using PPM. If you're using SBUS or IBUS, then look at the UART number that you placed your signal wire on. And you want to turn on Serial RX for that UART. In my case, it's placed on UART number 1. The other thing I need to mention is some in some firmwares, this MSP box is turned on for UART number 1, and if your uh, SBUS or IBUS wire is on UART number 1, then you need to turn that off, because your ports can only do one thing at a time, so having Serial RX and MSP on at the same time is not going to work, so make sure you turn MSP off. Another catch to that if you do not see USB VCP up here, then that means your flight controller does not have a virtual COM port. This means that you use the CP2102 driver. In that case, you cannot turn MSP off or your flight controller is going to lock up. So your only other option is to find a different UART and place your signal wire on UART. Uh, it might be two, one, two, and three. It might be one, three, and six. The point I'm trying to make is if you do not see USB VCP, you cannot have your receiver on UART number one. Pick one of the other two. All right, now that we've got all of that situated, let's all save and reboot, except for you PPM guys. Now let's all go to configuration. If you chose to use PPM, then you will uh, select PPM RX input, and that's it. Then save and reboot. If you are using SBUS, then you want to choose serial based receiver and then down here select SBUS. If you're using IBUS then select IBUS. Like I said earlier not all flight controllers and firmwares support IBUS so if you're not sure if it does or not then select IBUS anyway and now let's all save and reboot. We can all test the transmitter and receiver now go to the receiver tab and move your joysticks around. If roll pitch yaw and throttle is not moving on your screen, then you need to go back and recheck your ports tab, recheck the configuration tab, make sure everything's saved here because sometimes it doesn't, and also go back to your transmitter and make sure that you have the correct settings selected in the menu that I showed you earlier. So for you guys trying out IBUS, make sure you have IBUS selected in your transmitter and if that did not work then uh, you have to power down your receiver go into the menu then switch it to SBUS and then come back here and select SBUS then save and reboot then go back to receiver and try again and now I am getting roll pitch y'all and throttle and you can also test your switches out and that's going to do it guys so I really hope that I uh, covered everybody and every situation. If this video helped you out, then uh, if you could just give me a like. Look in the description below for my uh, playlist with many other helpful videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.